Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the final, our final video here in the Dominican Republic. I can't even believe I'm saying that. It's been eight months, nine months since we've been here. We did have a short break to Vietnam and back, but... Mm -hmm. But in general, we've been here for basically eight months. We've considered it home for the past eight months. Wow. It feels so weird that we're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> we're leaving tomorrow as we sit here. It's like we have to start packing up this apartment. So we wanted to film one final video on our last day here in this beautiful country. We can't thank the Dominican Republic enough for having us. We just love it here. And all you guys, of course, who have followed along in this crazy yeah. journey of ours. So uh, <laughs> you, a lot of you have been messaging us kind of wondering two things. One is where are we going next? So that might be why you're clicking on the video. We're going to get to that towards the end of the video, so make sure to stick around. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And number two, the big thing is, are we coming back here? Are we coming yeah, back to the Dominican People keep Republic? asking us that over and over <laughs> and over again. So yeah, I think that's a very big question that a lot of people have. And we're going to talk about those two things throughout the course of this video. Mm -hmm. And just in case, if you're new around here and it's the first time you've ever clicked on one of our videos, it's <laughs> Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. There's lots of videos here in the DR and around the world. It's nice to see you. Hit subscribe to follow along in the ventures if you're not new. It's great to see you guys again. So we thought it would be fun as we you know, are finishing things off here to start this video off kind of reflecting on some of our yeah. favorite moments, <laughs> our favorite things, what we loved about this place so much. So we both kind of picked some highlights to yeah, go over. Yeah, we have two or three each mm -hmm. and they were hard to select because mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been pretty great here. Yeah. But what are yours? So number one for me has just been living in Cabarete. Yeah. We know that's very, very broad. <laughs> so just, you know, day-to-day -day life here in yeah. Cabarete, which is where we're at right now, but we are leaving. Uh, so we've spent the most time here, and I think it's safe to say we have to mention Cabarete, right? Yeah, I mean, we love this place. We've lived in a few different apartments here. I think it's an area we will maybe continue to come back to. Spoiler mm, Maybe. Spoiler <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. But yeah, it's just a place that we've definitely fallen in love with. I think most of you who have been following along on this journey know how much we love it here and mm -hmm. hopefully it's come across in the videos. But like we love our daily life. One thing, yeah, one thing we really love about being here is just our daily lives, our routines. It's Not great. big routine people in general, but here it's kind of it. Out of the, I guess out of the box for us because we really it don't is. particularly like routines, but here we have a really great routine and maybe that's why we love it because it's the only place in the world we've enjoyed having somewhat of a routine. We get up in the morning, we get a bunch of work done. Yeah. We try to go for a long walk on the beach to get some exercise. It's, it's great. It's perfect for us. So I know you guys know we love this place and you probably expected us to say that first, but what, what about places not not Cabaret Day. Yeah, so say. we've done lots of different trips throughout the course of eight months here. One of my absolute favorites was going to Punta Rusia. Yeah. And there we did Ooh. a paradise island. It was this little island that was yeah. kind of in the middle of the ocean, but it's just like a sandbar. It's a, it's a quick day trip from here. Uh, we stayed for a few nights, but you can do it as a day trip. But yeah, you get to this kind of rustic, like authentic Dominican Republic village and you can go to this beautiful island that's out in the ocean. It's hard to believe mm -hmm. the place even exists. And this country is full of full of places like that. That's what's so great. But I think the other thing about just being here is what we've talked about this people maybe. People for sure, but something extra special for us is, oh, I mean, we love our friends. We travel so often that we don't get to see people nearly yeah. as often as we'd like. But here, we ate, made friends with two people that I think we're going to continue to be friends with yeah, for <laughs> ages. You guys might remember them from previous videos. It was Max and Marin, Voyager Guru, yeah. good friends of ours, and hopefully we'll get to travel with them and see them in the future. Yeah, we but, had a blast hanging yeah. out with those guys. Yeah, we did so and much. then, of course, um, our friends uh, that have met us all around the world now, The Endless Adventure, uh, came here as well and, and it's always just fun to have friends when you're traveling on the road. You get up to a lot of shenanigans, you have a lot of fun, you eat a lot of great food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might lose a drone. You know, all of you guys remember when we lost the drone, but that was when we were with The Endless Adventure. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of fun. I, I think for me some of the highlights definitely as well, Lost Tyrannus is just out of this world. It's out of a, it's what you dream about when you mm -hmm. think of the Caribbean, especially those beaches and just being there in that kind of like European 
tropical town. It was just a lot of fun and totally unexpected. I, I and I think a lot of you guys that are probably watching this right now maybe found us through Lost Arenas because it's yeah. very, becoming very, very popular. A lot of people are looking it up. Yeah, and speaking of unexpected places, I mentioned uh, Herabacoa or Herabacoa is how you would say it in Spanish. It, that up in the mountains, no palm trees, pine trees, the temperatures are cooler. I, it's just hard for me to even fathom that that is there still yeah. to this day because it doesn't there's no beach obviously there's no playa so, so they say that the Dominican was it the Dominican Republic has it all or something or has <laughs> yeah it, or it's a uh, it's yeah. I the slogan it really does I get but most of all one of the highlights for us was meeting all of you guys that watch us I we can't even begin to count the hundreds hundreds of people mm -hmm. that have stopped us on the beach to either say hello or they watch or our videos or they came here because of us which is any travel youtubers like favorite thing to hear is that you know you watched a video and, and maybe you traveled because of our videos and that just warms our heart. Yeah we really make these videos a to just help people out give information but also to inspire people to travel and explore new places. Exactly. I know we're gonna miss this place huh? Wow. It's funny as you like leave our apartment there's a walkway and as you get closer to the beach obviously you start to see it. And we do this every single day but it never gets old and then you end up right here where you can get this beautiful view of the basically the entire beach but um, before we start packing we figured we should run some errands there's a couple things we need to get preparations for travel and all that stuff Whew. so we just said the word miss and I'm gonna do my best to make this a segue into the next segment speaking of that word or places we missed you get me <laughs> we know we missed a lot of places here in the Dominican Republic there's lots of areas we tried to get to we just didn't have enough time the big one being Bahia de las Aguilas, down in the kind of southwest on the island. So so many people, so many people recommended that place to I us. Know. It actually kind of became an ongoing joke that every other comment on a lot of videos <laughs> was like, you need to go there, you need to so, go. So here's the thing, we know there's many other places as well. So we want you guys to leave us some comments below on where we should go in the Dominican Republic the next time we're here. That's right, we're coming back. Of course, I'm sure you figured it out by now and you probably know that we love this place. And yeah. I, can't, I can't even imagine saying permanently <laughs> goodbye to this place. So I think throughout the years, I mean, we have no official plan at the moment of coming back, but no. other than knowing that we will. But over the years, I think it's just gonna be one of those places that we continue and continue and continue to come back to. All right, you're probably wondering when though, like when are we coming back here? I know there's a lot of you that don't even want us to leave. So here's the thing, we gotta be honest, it's going to be, a while. We're not coming back in a couple months. It's likely next year. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to have to wait on that. But what we would love is if you continue to follow along. Hopefully you made a connection with us. I hope so. Yeah. Here in the Dominican Republic. Hopefully you feel like we're friends now. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to a lot of other countries. If you want to stay on the delightful adventure, stick around and hit the subscribe button. Right now we're out doing uh, some errands. I need to replace my flip-flops or Thongs. We don't call them thongs, but I know some people do. These are flip-flops to us. Flip-flops to us. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I bought these before we came here, like last, last fall sometime. I'm actually surprised they've made it this long because it's literally the only thing I ever wear. I know. Though I'm often barefoot, I guess, too, because we're on the beach. <laughs> well, but the bottoms are terrible. Yeah, this, this thing keeps popping out now. It's like all worn, so I think it's time for new ones. So there's no shortage of flip-flops in this store, and Anna looks to be having better luck than I did, and you got something. I did. I, I feel like women's maybe flip-flops are a little bit easier than men's. You, Trevor also has very flat feet, so it makes it hard to find them. Like, sometimes they cop too high on your well, feet. Well, the bigger but. thing is I'm trying to find flip-flops that um, don't have like leather or material on them, so right, if they get wet. they get wet all the time, and, so it just seems yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out in the next country that we're going to, I guess, because I'm going to have to get some flip-flops. I just want to make sure if they get wet, they just dry quick, so there's no leather, no material. Do you think I could find that here? But I can't. I've been looking for months. Next up, we need some uh, cash since we're going to be traveling again. We need some good old fashioned cash. Yeah, we're going to get it out in pesos, obviously, because that's what you get at the ATM. But then we'll just exchange it later for USD. Is that a little oh, hint? Oh, maybe we're giving them a little hint it's on where not we're the going. US, though. We've just come over to a place called Fresh Fresh, and we haven't taken you guys here yet. It's one of our favorite places to eat at in Cabarete, the town. Food's great. We usually come here for lunch, but we had to get one of these, one final chinola juice passion fruit juice. This is one of our favorites. It's so fresh here. We're going 
to miss that. I might miss that this, this one drink. I might miss more than anything about the country. Honestly, these guys do it so well. We also got some food. They have a really big menu here of like bowls and wraps. And of course they have bagels. I love a good bagel sandwich. So that's what I went for today on my final lunch here in Cabarete. This one is, uh, I think it's turkey or ham. I forget, cheese. There's tomato on there, avocado, and I think cream cheese. Doesn't that mm. sound delicious? Yeah, it's as good as it always was. I was slightly worried that for some reason they might be out of it or something like that today, just because you know it is the last, last time we're gonna get this, but it's really, really yummy. It's a little bit toasted, it's warm. I don't know quite how they do that, but it's warm on the inside. The cheese is a little, a slightly bit melty. Avocado is really nice and creamy along with the cream cheese. There's some nice, yummy flavors and textures. Well, we're at the airport, huh? We are. <laughs> oh my goodness. It feels so weird, so strange, and so sad. Well, the first thing we got to do here is find a place to check in. I think I see it. <laughs> yes, but it kind of is a spoiler. We wanted to show, uh, show them who we're actually traveling with. It's not really a spoiler, but kind of a I don't think big hint. I don't think I can get the camera to zoom, but it is big hint, and maybe we'll tell you it's an inter-Caribbean flight, huh? Okay, we made it. Uh, we made it through. Uh, immigration, that was something, huh? Yeah, I know, we did it before in Puerto Plata a couple of months ago, as you guys might recall. It was yeah. super easy. This time, it was like, you have to overstay, you pay your overstay yeah. fees, which wasn't by much, but... Well, they uh, just sent us back and forth, like, oh, at least five times. times. To different spots. Uh, yeah, so, wow. a while. Yeah, it's so, it so easy in Puerto Plata, and uh, we heard coming to this airport, we're in Santiago, by the way, I don't know if we've said that, the second biggest city in the Dominican Republic. We heard it's pretty uh, slow here when you're coming through, and yeah. It's true. That was, uh, well, our least favorite airport I'd say we've ever been in. I'm not even gonna get into it, but that was not easy. But here we, here we go. We almost missed the flight actually because there was no gate number, but it's a little plane we're about to board here to hop over to another oh, island. Yeah, huh? There's no seating either. Wait, we gotta pull your ass out. No seating, <laughs> no, no seating assigned. So and we're the last ones to board just because of the big mix up. But. I know. Last ones to board. I don't know if we're gonna get any shots of where we're going. Uh, out the window, guys. If I can't, I feel so bad because it's gonna be really pretty. But here we go. Got your facial mask. Place the oxygen mask over your nose and mouth, and continue to breathe normally. Place the elastic band around your head entirely by pulling on the bands on each side of the mask. If you're traveling with someone who may need your assistance, place your mask on first and then stay somewhere. Continue using the mask. Okay, well, we made it. We made it to our final destination of the day. Did any of you guess? You might have heard some things, I'm not sure, but you might have recognized it from the plane, but just in case you don't know. We are in Turks and Caicos. Woo! <laughs> First time ever in Turks and Caicos. It was a very short flight. It was a very small plane, and it, I always forget, like after being on that big long flight to Vietnam uh, about a month ago or so, that went smooth, and this plane, you can just feel all, all the bumps. Oh yeah, it was like one of those, you probably saw the propeller. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, but it's so funny how you can fly, like you were just saying, flying to Vietnam. You can fly over to Vietnam, take a whole bunch of flights, and in mm -hmm. general, like, we'll be really, really nervous about it. So, yeah. so many things can go wrong, and it went really well. And then today was supposed to be like the shortest little stint ever. <laughs> and it was like all the things went wrong. But we're here, and we're Yeah, happy. yeah, we'll spare you the details. This <laughs> a lot went wrong, but we're here. We made our flight. That's the important part. <laughs> we made part. the flight. We're super happy. We're going to have lots of videos coming up here on this beautiful Caribbean island. We don't know exactly what we're filming. Yep, but you'll find out no in the next... no time to plan it. I have <laughs> no, no idea time. what we're going to do in the next week. <laughs> but uh, the main reason we just wanted to close out here is we just wanted to say thanks to each and every one of you that have picked us up, specifically during the Dominican Republic series, mm -hmm. because I know a lot of you... Um, yeah, just been along for that ride, and we hope that you're going to continue to follow along because now we're going to a new country. We're in this country. We, we can't wait to explore, and yes, we will be back in the Dominican Republic someday. Of course, but hopefully we'll see you in the meantime before yeah. we're back there. <laughs> yeah, and we just want to say, like, th th there's something about the Dominican Republic that just, yeah, just... It's so special. It's so special. Like, you know, we're from Nova Scotia. 
Canada and people in there like just thing like oh I ha you know Nova Scotia has my heart like it, the Dominican Republic like kind of has our soul it, it's mm -hmm. like there's something about that country for us in that north coast coast specifically mm -hmm. so we'll be back don't worry but there's a lot coming up here the adventure doesn't so stop. So excited I actually am more excited the fact that I really have no idea where we're gonna be this week or what <laughs> no, this nothing time. planned this is our, our room we'll maybe give you a room tour and uh, mm -hmm. we'll show you where we're staying at some point mm -hmm. you'll see soon in the upcoming videos. All right guys that's it. From Turks and Caicos now. Wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.